Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 5 of my Subnautica Season 2 Let's Play. So, I just woke up like half an hour ago, it's 7 in the morning. We're going to listen to this message. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Wait, I already did this. I didn't know how bad. Wait. Uh, how many of... Did my I game not save? We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Uh... What else can I say? We're a six-seater, and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this. Our final last attempt at a planet landing in the Academy Simulator. Oh, it's a bad situation. But so are all the alternatives. This has moved again. Not a lot, but it's moved again. I suppose I can't push it myself, can I? Oh, I can push it. Oh, nifty. Can I push it faster by using this? <laughs> yeah, so I think I know what happened with the life pod. I think a, a reef back or something may have pushed it. Possibly. That, that's one possibility. It could have just glitched out, but maybe a reef back was the reason. Maybe it got pushed by a reef back. It's one of the only things I can think of seeing as they seem to be hanging out in this area. Reapers and all kinds of stuff can spawn in the shallows, or at least go into the shallows uh, since the update. Titanium ingot, ingot lubricant power cell. What's the power cell worth? It's a battery and something else. It's two batteries. And some silicon rubber. Well, I don't have... Any room in my inventory? I mean, I. I guess I could convert some of this to a titanium ingot just to uh, use it up. That could be an idea. And then I can quickly grab some of this creep vine. One, two. I can only hold two at a time. We'll make a silicon rubber, and then we'll go down there and make another two. Wait, no, I want to make a lubricant next, which means I need three. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could drop this off at my base. Like, put some in uh, one of the lockers or something. That's always something I could do. Welcome aboard, All Captain. Right. Seeing as we've got so much on us. And we'll head back. I might end up pushing the life pod. It would be, if I get... Once I get the seam off, it'd probably be faster to push the life pod with the seam off than what it would be with this thing. So then we could actually do that. That could be a thing we could do. I wish this reef back would go away though. Alright, I got three. This will now make our lubricant. And then we've just got to make one battery. Which means I'll probably end up needing copper because I think I used it all to make the... I used it for something. I don't remember what. I had one in there. I could have just used that. Oh, well. Uh, someone all, someone also said they had a theory that maybe one of the first aid kits got stuck to the outside of the life pod, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Right. So we just need to head down so we can find ourselves a piece of limestone. Alright, that's one. We only need the one, though. And we need acid mushrooms. Which we need to get from the safe shallows of a near our base. Like, it's it's weird to see the reef backs and stuff in this area. It's, um... It makes me very worried that it will actually end up having a reaper spawn here. 
Which, you know, wouldn't be a problem with the Cyclops or something, although I could get killed by it if I came out of my base at the wrong time. But in general, it wouldn't be such a big problem. But could you imagine in the Seamoth, if you come out of your base and it just insta-fucking kills you in your Seamoth? You'd be so pissed. Alright. So I need battery. And then I need the silicon rubber, which I've got. So there's the power cell. What else was it? Oh, that's it. Beautiful. Let's make this. And then the CMOS going to need a power cell. Lubricant. Uh, I'm not, I don't really remember what else it would need. Um... I mean, I'll release this here for now, and then I'll move it after. Alright, let's see. I don't remember what it needs. Titanium ingot, power cell, glass, and lubricant. Uh, the glass, I can't make right now. I can if I get one more quartz. We've got another message that we can listen to in a memento. Uh... Piece of quartz, piece of quartz, piece of quartz. Piss of quartz. Can I have piss of quartz, please? Uh, can I not get fucked up by stalker, please? Come on, one piece of quartz, dude. I saw like four when I dived down to get... Thank you, thank you. I saw like four when I dived down to get the copper. Okay, so I, now I've put all my titanium out of my inventory, although I, could probably, I probably have enough just to make one out of this. I didn't count how many I got. There's the ingot. I need two glass. One, two. Okay, what else did I need? Where's the vehicle bay? It's already floating away, dude. Get closer to the life pod. Stay there. Oh, didn't want to pick it up. Damn it, dude. Well, that did get it closer, I guess, technically. Uh, I need lubricant and a power cell, which means I need another piece of copper. Oh, I need two batteries, actually. Shit. Congratulations, Survivor. You just exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming with your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. All right, so we need to get two pieces of copper. I need to not get killed by this stalker that's behind my ass. That's sandstone. Oh, yay. Could you... Could you just, like, go away, dude? I'd appreciate... Really appreciate that. Absolutely love you if you could just leave me alone. Titanium. This is sandstone. Okay, I appreciate the gold, but... 30 seconds. Uh, copper. Silver. Like, I appreciate all this game, but really just need one more piece of copper. Honestly, that's all I need. Like, I, I love that you're giving me a lot of silver and stuff. Way easier than what it was the first time around I played this game. But, uh, would really appreciate uh, some damn... Like, I don't want to not get it because it'll come in handy, especially the silver, but... I would really just like to get some limestone pieces right now. Lead. The most useless fucking material in the game. I don't even know whether there's a use for it at the moment because I don't remember ever finding one. Damn it. Move. Idiot. Oh shit. 30 seconds. Oh, that's not good. Can I, can I, like, get it off my... Oh, and I'm, like, 240 metres away. I should have been paying more attention to my battery life on this damn thing. 
Also means now I'm going to have to swim over to get the acid mushrooms. Alright, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Why have I got this out? Damn it, dude. I guess it's not that bad to swim over. A little slow, though. Also means that I'm going to have to swim over to get the acid mushrooms through this forest. Which is stupidly annoying. Okay. Come on. So I'm going to end up having to use a battery here just so I can use this thing to make everything faster. Oh, no, I can't because I still have to swim over there anyway. Hmm. So what have I got? I got the one copper, right? I'll probably put some of this in there now too. Gold. I like gold. Wow, I got quite a, actually, quite, actually quite a lot of silver. That's quite nice, to be honest. All right, let's get these acid mushrooms. We'll grab two acid mushrooms. I mean, I could build the battery charging unit, but, like, what's the point yet? Uh, I mean, I guess it could be worth it right now. It depends how much it costs. I'll see how much it costs. All right, let's see. Hi, Peepa. We're going to have to eat soon as well. Jump up in here. I don't even know what that would be worth. I even remember where to build, uh, to habitat build a thing. Uh, computer chip and copper wire. Yeah, that can wait a little bit, honestly. I can just wait for a minute. That can just wait for a minute. Alright, so. I need to make a battery. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly collect this stuff and I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys and girls, I collected all the necessary materials. It seems like my life pod is slowly drifting back towards my base. Look at it moving. Look at that. So I don't know what's up with that. But we've got enough stuff to make the sea moth right now. So let's do it. While the sea moth submersible is a fast safe mode of transport, try to continue to meet your recommended weekly exercise quote. And swimming is fantastic for your glutes and endorphin levels. Alright, so what I can do now is I should be able to... How do I pick this up? I've got to be in a certain spot and I can pick this back up, right? I know there is a way to pick it up. Pick up. There we go. Shit, where did my sea moth go? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at you, you beautiful baby. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hey. Alright, now well, what we're going to do is we're just going to bump this. Uh, here we go. Ah. Uh, let's push it. Oh my god. That's an awful noise, but we're getting the life pod ever so closer back to our base. It's probably messed up the life pod, but that's okay. We can repair. It needs to be near our base. Come on. Ugh. Let's go. Okay, it's it's close enough, I guess. That's close enough. Alright. So we'll have to go in here and we're going to have to repair, probably. Yep. Wow, I actually completely killed it. Why are the lights on? I didn't think it would keep the lights on. So we're going to listen to this message, then we're going to end off the episode. This is Officer Keen in LifePod 19 broadcasting all Aurora crew. The captain is gone over Zoom command. Scans show dry land a kilometre south of the crash site. Stay together and regroup at the rendezvous, rendezvous point. Good luck. Where is he? I don't know... Caution. Mild dehydration detected. 19. DNT it didn't give me a signal. Coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin unknown. Okay. Well, anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right. Peace.